After post-secondary education, many young adults are faced with the challenge of finding their first full-time job. This can prove to be difficult for some, but there are many tools available to help people in search of employment. Many people wonder as to what the best method is for finding a new job. Some people prefer to use online job searching utilities such as LinkedIn, ZipRecruiter, Indeed, or CareerBuilder. Others find full-time employment through in-person networking or through internships. So, once you find a job opening that suits you, what's next? Most job openings will require you to fill out an application. Included in the application is generally a resume and possibly a cover letter. A resume is usually only a few pages long and can be as short as one page. This will list your previous job experience as well as applicable achievements and skills. On the other hand, a cover letter is specific to the job that is being applied for. A cover letter outlines why you would be a good fit for the position and what appropriate skills you could bring to the table. In addition to a resume and cover letter, there will likely be additional application forms to complete. These forms will vary from company to company and can usually be filled out online or with pen and paper. Amongst the additional application forms, there will generally be a tax form to fill out. Examples of these would be W-4, W-2, or I-9 forms. In the final stages of the job application process, many employers hold job interviews to ensure that the applicant is the right person for the job. Should you find yourself invited to a job interview, it's important to present yourself well. For starters, dress appropriately. Dress codes will differ by company, but it is best to avoid casual clothing such as flip-flops, ripped jeans, and tank tops. A safe bet for men is typically a collared shirt with a tie, paired with nice khakis or even dress pants. And for women, reasonable dresses or blouses should be fine. Tips for successful job interview include more than just dressing the part. For starters, you want to arrive considerably earlier than the scheduled interview time to ensure that you have enough time to find the proper room or office. Additionally, upon meeting the interviewer, it is important to make a good first impression. It helps to make solid eye contact and have a good, firm handshake while still maintaining eye contact. This will show your interest in the company and your intent to work there. You should also maintain good posture for the entire interview. Furthermore, it also helps to research the company beforehand. This will give you background knowledge which you can use to your benefit when explaining how you could be of best use to the company.